Hello all, welcome back to the FFT Arena Single Class Challenge AI Tournament Season 4, Match 12. This time on top, we got Andrew's team, which comprises of his married, his married band of priests. And on bottom, it's um, Andante's Scala team. Alright, let's go over Andrew's for just a moment here, because we already checked out Andante's here. For Andrew, we got Draw Out, Punch Art, Summon Magic, Lore. Basically, this just implies what their secondaries are. Um, Overwhelm, uh, Meat Bone Slash with the C bag. That's going to be pretty funny to see. Um, let's see. She is rocking. Just raised. Okay. And then the draw, Kotetsu, Marasami, Kiku, and Masamune. All right. So, Kiku bot, Kotetsu bot. Pretty much. Overwhelm, too. And, you know, high healing from Murasami. Thanks to Overwhelm and the, the 15 I made that she's got. Punch Art uh, Priest with Attack Up, War Path, 14 PA, Auto Protect. This gummy has Protect, of course. And then Rapine Fist, Chi Blast, Secret Fist, Sigma Manager, Chakra, and Revive. So high PA means good damage from this guy. Okay, Equip Armor, um, Damage Split Priest with some status immunity, I think. Chakra Band, what's that immune to? I'm just double checking. Blind, Don't Act, Frog, Stop, Undead. And this one's the Mina Charm. All right, that's fair enough. She's got Cure Three and Asuna, and well, Summon Magic, Fairy Carbuncle, and Lich. So hopefully for Andrew's ca uh, case, the uh, Liches will indeed go off. And then uh, Magic Attack up uh, Lore Priest. All right, we got White Magic going on again. Cure Cure Two, Raise Two, Shell Dia. So Magic Attack up Dia, of course, and then Regen Confession, Bio, and Melt. So, Andrew's just looking to get these spells off as quick as possible. The Necronomicon is nice because of the zombie proc. Um, that could occur. We'll see if he'll get that chance or not. We, so, we shall see. For Andante, Mind Magic, Backpack, Quake, Reviva. So, quick summary. Mixed Tank, uh, Punch Art Unit, I believe with Secret Fists? Yes, with Secret Fist. Mixed uh, item bot tank with decent move and an okay amount of status immunity, of course. Dragon Spirit as well. Um, the draw, another draw unit with MA save this time, move HP up. Dwarven Van for the Quake Proc. And then the mildly tanky summoner of summon magic. Alright, so where are we going? Alright, I know where we're going. We're going to map 31, Door to Trade City. Alright, so Andrew gets the first shot. Kiku, but it's gonna trigger an MA save. Book shot. Okay, and slash. Secret Fist. Ooh, does hit through 48%. That might be Andrew's. Uh, strangely enough, that might be his best shot, I think. Don't quote me on that. Oh, Shell, good move. Making sure these, these priests can survive. Damage split. Okay, and barrier. Lich goes off. Hits only one scholar though. Ooh, poison proc on the male priest. And backpack is the one of his death sentence right now. Revive does land, but I think she may have already missed her turn. Here, three goes off. All right, more quakes about to go off. Low MP restore. Okay, more M barrier. That yeah, priest is right now in critical. She's gonna have to run back and go for a high a high healing Murasame. Melt that priest really can't use his punch arts anymore. Well, you could, I guess, for repeating fist, but that's really about it. See, melts. See, as soon as it goes off, but 
that priest may have to spend a turn chakra, perhaps. Protection and shell are a thing, though. Alright, so another... Oh, secret fist this time. A little tit for tat with some secret fisting. Kiku for high damage, but MA save. Oh, that shot missed. Andrew could have really used that right. Oh, but Charm Proc does occur. Ooh, Melt. Okay. Andrew is sort of hanging in there, actually. He's sort of hanging in there right now. The only thing that can happen is... Okay, MP Restore goes off. See, Kotetsu doesn't quite drop him, but it is weakening them. That's the most important thing. Bookshot does take down one of the scholars, but she does have re-raise. But that male priest is still DS'd, so he'll, he'll die in any second. Lich does take down one of the other scholars. Her re raise also had to expire. Ooh, now I think, um. Now I think Andante's gonna be back in control very shortly. Although Fairy will be going off, so Andrew's not out of this quite yet. Can I turn the music up just a tad bit? There we go. Okay, Fairy does bring up one of the other scholars as well. Man, that. Mayo Skull is just going to town with those secret fists. The only thing Andrew can hope for is that uh, if he can somehow beat the clock here. Bio, okay. Lich goes off. Oh, this is actually getting kind of interesting now, all of a sudden. Question is... Okay, that Scholar does go down, but... Okay, now that has to spend a turn at least restoring her MP, which is fine for Andrew, because he'll need a moment to uh, recharge his batteries anyways. See, when magic does hit, but that... Let's see. That item boss scholar is doing all he can. Let's see. Dia snipe? Let's see. Lich goes off. Oh, but it misses. Oof. In re-race just happened just now. I think Andante is starting to gain, regain control here. Unless Andrew can somehow pull, um, get his units back up as well. It, it depends, though. It depends if RNG will favor him or not. Fairy does go off. As does race two. Quake should even things back up, though. The revive does hit. Man, this is actually getting quite interesting now. Cure 3 only goes over the male priest. Secret Fist lands again.
see race two does connect. Lich misses again. Ooh, Andrew's not getting that lucky RNG he needs right now. Oh man, this is actually getting um, quite interesting. Secret Fist misses for Andrew, of course it does. It was 61% too. Alright, so Laura will continue to go forward. Bookshot takes her down. Secret Fist misses, okay, so it's somewhat fair, I guess. But still, though, Andrew is really struggling to stay alive here. It's a little bit back and forth earlier, but now I think Andante is regaining control here. Like, no doubt about it. MP Restore, that's not what Andante would like. There's a Revive. Oh, but this is what Andante wants. The Priest Game grouped up for Quake. Yeah, I think round one's gonna be going to Andante finally. After, you know, a quiet back and forth. At the, quite the back and forth battle, I think Andante's gonna be able to finally take it here. Plus, those M berries are really. Um, Two good fist misses that time. Oh, Melt might cancel the spell out right here. It does. Uh, you mean Demi 2? Um, I, he doesn't have time magic on his, um, on his squad. I think it's the problem. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, despite uh, Andante pressing his advantage, Andrew is still reviving people somehow. A little tip of tat there with the um, with the melt there, and that male skull is getting really lucky with those secret fists. I may say that's something that Andrew does not want here. The Pink Fist takes down one of the scholars, but she, you know, she's gonna get that re-raise saved up, of course. And that priest is at a hundred faith. Alright, M. Berry got cancelled out. 
No charm proc. Andrew would love the charm proc right now. He does get a secret fits of his own. Uh, I think this is going to finally uh, go to Andante here. Bio finally takes her down. Yeah, this is over. off. Doesn't quite take him down, though. MP Restore. Oh, I'm surprised there was no uh, Quake proc that time. And 291 cure to. Good God. Bookshot got blocked again. Preet is not even going to bother reviving the other Preet because she's going to be dead weight at this point. Yep. So Andrew is permanently down um, four, you know, four and three. Yeah, now she goes for the raise two on the uh, summon magic priest. Which will connect because of pilgrimage. Back up again. See more damage split. Mara Simon. That's called spent basically the last of her MP. Alright, so Death Sentence is getting rid of the Dragon Spirit. Poke and a quake. I think that priest is dead. Yep. D E D dead. Poison proc. Oh no charm. Alright, if the summon magic priest could just somehow um restore her own MP. Cheery, no damage split. Oh, charm proc. Hold on. We might have something here, guys. We might have something. Once call goes down. Oh, she's got a quake herself. Not quite dead yet, but really close.
Andrew showing signs of life, perhaps? Lich goes off. Oh, it hits one of the scholars. Uh, Re-raise does expire, though. And again, use up the last of her MP to heal. Reflect by, uh, reflect by, okay, doesn't quite do enough. All right, D-Split. Oh, man. Andrew is seriously hanging in there right now. Oh, but there's a Regenerator, though. Not quite what Andrew would have liked. Oh, Mel, that might cancel the Lich, I think. Or does it? Yep, it cancels the Lich. Oh, just when Andrew might have had something going on here. Oh, it's a pen of bio. Not quite enough, though. And the male priest does have Warpath, and he's already at max power. And he's dead. Man, I thought Andrew had something with the charm, but it was not quite enough. There's another charm, but is this going to be enough? Ah, uh, you idiot. You idiot. <coughs> idiot. Stimpy. You stupid idiot. <coughs> oh, my God. Yeah, oh my god. I mean, Carbuncle was doing his thing, but... Cheap last anime save. Christ. Ah, uh, yeah, this is definitely over. Oh my god. That priest could have just done like a secret fist like another priest or something. And while keeping the other charm unit um, doing their thing, but instead this is what we got. God damn it. <sighs> oh my... Yeah, Andrew, with, with, um, yeah, I'm surprised you didn't, I'm surprised you didn't, uh, uh, pick Holy for your team. I'm a bit, I'm a rather surprised, considering that, uh, Holy is a really strong spell in its own right. But I guess you're looking for more instant spells rather than charge spells? Like, Bio and Holy would have been a fine combo, actually. Or maybe you just didn't have the GP for it. Oh no, Priest can be great for damage output, it's just the way you set them up is what makes them the most dangerous. Uh, but, alas, it is what it is, though. Yeah, I, I will give Andrew credit for one thing, though, is that his team hunted there for as long as it possibly could. At least up until the end. The 
the seat. Dia, uh, don't think there was a faith proc in there. Doesn't matter, he does go down. Alright, Melt. That's fine, that Priest might spend a turn. Yeah, he's got a Chakra anyway, so that didn't really matter. Alright, Shell? Probably the best idea right now, considering that, um... Uh, considering that, uh, Scholars just do way, way too much damage here. Rapine Fist, better safe than sorry. Alright, Quake does go off, but won't do as much damage thanks to Shell. Alright, Lich goes off. Oh, he has one priest. Um, one scholar, excuse me. Kiku. Ooh, uh, Andrew got lucky that the uh, friendly fire didn't come into play at all. All right, so backpacks go 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 for more melt. The only thing you can really do at this point. Let's see, secret fist hits through forty percent. Okay, bookshot, um... Oh, that skull is finally getting in range for a quake. Or bio, rather. Now Bat Pack can actually jump, hop on over. And thanks to the Green Beret having good move, um, he can actually get over there and be an effective item bot support. The male priest will spend the rest of his turn, I guess, getting rid of the re-raise with, uh, Secret Fist. That turn might be worth it. We'll find out, though. Alright, Fairy does indeed go, go off. Alright, looks to be a Moogle coming up. More Secret Fist. This time on the draw bot. Oh, KR3, rather. Let's see. Uh, Bookshot? Yep. Andrew's about to spend the turn reviving that male priest. Because Secret Fist is really his best way to, uh, to answer against um, the M Barrier here. Priest does block, which is good, because now you can eat that cure too. No charm proc. Alright, so let's see here. Bookshot, OMA save. That could work against Andrew here. Let's see. Alright. Down goes the um, draw off scholar. Um, let's see, fairy coming up. Secret fist misses this time. 
And Marisame for the heal. Let's see, how are we doing on music? Uh, uh, let me try to get some more music here. Again, guys, uh, Nightbot is open, so feel free to feel free to request some music if you could. I'm just gonna try to add some more music while uh, this is going on. When the scholars does indeed go down. Secret Fist misses again. Kotetsu hits one, misses the other. Alright, that. Female Scholar does go down. And DS Snipe. That one goes down. Round two could be going to Andrew finally. Oh my god. Oh, block. See, bio. Alright, a little bit of carbuncle here. So we're going to be going to round three. They just need to close in and make sure that the, the scholars don't revive anymore. Backpack, well, sturdy item bot in his own right can't revive um, that many units at once. I mean, that skull does have to fence up, so it will take. He is a tough nut to crack. As I said that, Lich goes off. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're going to round three. Our first one of the night. How about that? Alright, for our tiebreaker map, we're going to map 83, Zayakal Falls. All right, Andrew was able to outlast the War of Attrition this time around. We'll see if he can make magic happen once again. Oh, well, on Dante, put him in his place. Let's find out. Sigafist hits right off the bat, and an early melt. Sigafist misses for Andrew, and it's gonna tr uh, trigger a uh, Dragon Spirit. Uh, yes, uh, Sawtu. I'm going to be uploading the matches probably either by late tonight or early tomorrow morning. Ooh, Lich takes down one of the scholars. That priest not taking any chances. Let's see, Laura, what is she gonna go for? A region here? Quake goes off. Wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Has Andrew turned this has Andrew turned this around?
Low MP Restore, though. Oof. This is getting all of a sudden quite interesting here. Lich goes off. Will it hit? No, it does not hit. Oh, but I think that, um... Oof. I think Andante does have this, so... We are going to see a double fairy, though. Okay, fairy does go off. Bio poisons her. Although, I think Quake is going to... Oh, it's going to go for another Bio. Another double kill. Yeah, things aren't quite looking good for Andrew right now. Although the Drow Priest will get a turn immediately. Thank you for Andrew. And Melt, uh, the male priest, if he was smart... I was going to say he should go for a chakra, but apparently not. The Lord Priest will go for a melt of her own, though. No MP for her. Blocking a book with another book. Alright, Carbunko doing his thing. Bio, another poison. Quake, I don't think the male scholar cares about that too much. Considering he's already tanky as hell anyways. And Marisami does heal for a lot. We're talking like a lot. See, Chakra? Yep, smart priest. Showing off his intelligence. More bio more poison procs from the bios. And a lich gets blocked. Secret Fist misses. Let's see, Drow Priest will go for Kiku here. Minor damage, though. Let's see, Melt. Once again, canceling out Dante's plans here. Now, does Andrew even stand a chance? That's the question. Damage split, though. More carbuncle. Bookshot. MP restore. Draw out. We'll go for Murasame. Again, not taking any chances here. Like, Andrew is really, really clenching his fist right now. And, and biting his fingernails, wondering how this is going to play out. One skull does go down.
All right, protects, I guess, why not? The priest has got nothing better for him to do at this point. Oh, wait a second. Double kill off that Lich, Re-Raise has to expire. But Mamugo is still is gonna heal all of that away, all that off though. One of the MA say that's in dangerous territory, man. Shell will help out though. Uh, more damage in Quake. Oh man, Andrew is pulling up, is doing everything he can to just not lose. Alright, down goes to Quake Skull again. See, more Quake. Shell again is helping out. That's the only thing that's kind of keeping Andrew in the game here. And that secret fits his... Oh, there's Faith on that, um... On that Scholar there. That means she's susceptible to... Uh, more magic from Andrew here. Double target Kiku. Oh, DM will kill her. Lich goes off. Triple panel. Oh. What is happening here? Phoenix I ain't gonna save him from the Dia. Yeah. Don't know if those are faith proc or not. Can't quite tell. No quake proc for Andante though. Down goes that. Down goes that scholar. Down go. Okay. Andrew's. Andrew is. Showing something here. Is Andrew gonna be able to knock down on Dante here? Charm proc! Uh oh! See, book. Takes her down. Charm Scholar. At least she's not attacking the other uh, priest here. That's the only good thing for Andrew. Uh, Chief Last. Low AoE goodness here. And... Secret Fist does miss. I think Andrew is still in an okay spot, though. Oh, I think Andrew's gonna finally take this here. I thought for sh I thought for sure Andante would have been able to just sweep this through, but Andrew showing that Priest can um. Priest can be a group of winners too. I don't know what else to say here. I'm in shock. But hey, you know what though? Sometimes I'm proven wrong.
So I think that uh, now Andrew just needs to land just one more big shot. He just needs to land one more big shot, and then I think he'll be golden. Yeah, one of the scholars is uh, permanently crystallized here. The priest can finally get up there. Crit shot for the win! And re race! Dante is not going down without a fight. But I think this is going to be finally over. And one dia later, it is over. Holy crap. What a turn of events that we just witnessed here, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. Damn, that was a hell of a match. Hell of a comeback. Congratulations, Andrew. You are moving on in the tournament. Nicely done, my friend. Andante, um, your team is definitely tough. Uh, your team definitely showed something. Um, it does have another shot down at the loser's bracket, though. Um, so everyone stay tuned uh, to the next set of matches that will be hosted by Silent Caster. Um, it just goes to show you, you just, you just don't know how it's going to end until the last 30 seconds or so. Uh, so yeah, good stuff, GG, and thank you all for watching.